My name is Janine Garside, and this is Instrumental. <laughs> Graduated from high school without a lot of direction, and uh, I fell upon a poster for a tough man contest back in my hometown in uh, Duncan, British Columbia. Me and my sister could stand a good chance of winning, and there was a $1,000 prize. I went down to the boxing club and signed up, and uh, I took a, I fell in love with that right away. Boxing is a story, it's a life process. That's why so many people can relate to boxing. So from there, I turned pro, I had my daughter, so many different life events happened. I fought for my first world title as a professional after all these years. I found my way to Windsor, Ontario, and I knew that I wanted to be with Margaret Sidoroff. She was an undisputed uh, boxing champion and her coach, Josh Canty, who became my coach as well. Um, and it was a very intelligent move because uh, we went on to win six world titles. My first world title um, was against Lisa Brown from Cabbage Town after only four professional bouts. So uh, things went really quickly and sometimes, sometimes that can be confusing as an athlete. And I know after my first world title, I fell into quite a deep depression. I had to revisit myself and I had what I call the great humbling. <laughs> 12 years clean since then. And it, it was more about a spirit, a depression like that I carried with me, a spiritual ailment that I carried with me that I still never felt like I was good enough. Everything that I was trying to deal with spiritually was always combined with something that I experienced in boxing. And I came back to boxing after that with um, a new sense of humility. And after going through this great humbling and recovery, I fought for the ultimate green and gold, my world title. And I knew that that's what I wanted because all through this, I just want to be taken seriously. And I wanted to be the best in the world. So how can I be the best when somebody else has the green and gold, the WBC? I might have this belt or that belt. One day I need to have that WBC. I got my opportunity at that point to fight in Germany for the WBC world title. The green and gold. Now, I guess you know the end of the story because <laughs> here I am showing you this belt. I wanted this belt because not in promoting the WBC, but anybody that knows about boxing, I don't know, to me, it's like the diamond belt. It's just the, the ultimate. And after that fight, you know what? And I just could not rest until I got this belt. <laughs> And after that, the obsession did kind of lift and I was able to do normal things like normal people do. 